when did you I was going to say when did you first become interested in fashion in fashion maybe it's more accurate to say when did you first become kind of interested in, in clothes and in I think that no I think what I remember what my th- I, I do remember quite clearly some kind of epiphany I had it was in the mid 70s it was I was it was I well basically my my family I grew up in a hotel my family had a hotel up in a small town in the Scottish borders and during that time um, a young knitwear designer came to live with us the borders are very well known for their knitwear factories or whatever he came up from London um, he's called John Ashpool and he lived with us for quite a while and he was setting up his own factory to do independent knitwear um, and, and, and he was quite a, a, a sort of creative avant-garde character and certainly f- you know, living in a small town up there it was like someone coming from another planet and he, he had all of these people come up to, to help him and you know, I'm probably, I don't know what they were doing helping design for him and work with him and things and so I think I assume from Catherine Hamnett came and stayed with us for a while and I think Lynn Franks did she was big PR in the 80s it's obviously still around now um, and all sorts of young designers and things and so suddenly it was this influx of, of odd people but I, the, the big thing for me was his um, he had all of these books and, the, and magazines that I'd never, I'd never seen before and I remember it was a I can't actually what it, it might have been an American magazine or it might have been Nova I don't know um, but it was a Jean-Paul Goud shoot uh, and it was, it was quite famous images of different sets of dancers, all shot in the studio against white. And he had there was a group of blacks and a group of gays and a group of uh, whites and a group of Hispanics things, and they were all dressed accordingly and dancing. And I remember seeing this at the time, and it was like um, a, a light going on in my head. It was just like this. I'd never seen anything like it. Um, and I think that's when I kind of thought, you know, I could see the kind of the excitement of imagery and people and clothes and things. And I think, and, and that's really stayed with me, to be honest. Um, so yes, it was a sort of Jean-Paul Goud shoot from mid seventies. You know, um, that was kind of what got me interested in uh, in in the whole world of styling. Yeah. You studied at St. Martin's in yeah. kind of the early 80s. Yes. Was it 79 that you went to? I started the, in 79, mm-hmm. did a foundation course, and then went on to fashion BA, and I graduated in 83. Um, how did you move from kind of a fashion design background into styling? Um, well, when I left college, I... I kind of did a bit of freelance design work and then I started my own company with a couple of friends called Bazooka and that was kind of a little bit of sort of trendy club streetwear kind of uh, you know, mid 80s um, stuff um, and it wasn't, I mean it was, it was very successful from a PR point of view, we got loads of good press and the right people were wearing it and whatever but and we, and we were stocked in some quite good shops and things around town. But none of us were particularly great business people. Um, and we lost a lot of money fairly quickly. Um, so I, I got out of that um, after about a year. I'd had enough. And at the same time, um, I had some friends who from college days who were working at ID magazine. And... Well, my friend Stephen Mayo was working in the art department and Karen Franklin was fashion editor at the time, both of whom I'd known at St. Martin's. Um, and I think it was Karen who actually said, you know, did I want to do some styling? Um, so I went along just not actually knowing what styling was and um, tried it. And, and then I met up with Terry Jones, who runs a magazine, and he put me in touch with Nick Knight. And um, we, you know, we did a shoot and seemed to click. And... You know, carried on from there really. So that was kind of that was the you know the process of getting into the job. But it wasn't. It was never something that I'd had. You know, I had any great um, ambition to to do. You've 
often refer to your sensibility as punk. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Um, well, I think certainly, I mean, punk, the whole punk um, explosion in the sort of late 70s had a huge impact on me. You know, I, was, I was away at boarding school in Edinburgh, um, but still a kind of, it, it, it's, it, it influenced me greatly, you know, and I, whenever I had, had a, I mean, I bought every single punk record going, whenever I had a chance not to wear my school uniform, I'd kind of experiment with that kind of way of dressing. And I, th- I think it's just, it, you know, being 16 and, you know, a part of the whole punk thing was just the most fabulous thing, because it, it felt like there'd been nothing like it before. And so, and I think anyone that was, you know, part of that then, it, it did certainly change their lives and their, their view of things. Do you feel that that sort of those ideas have really informed your relationship to fashion and the fashion system. Because I've read um, a lot of things that you, you've talked about where you say that you feel like you're outside. I, I, well, I always have felt um, quite outside the whole fashion idea, really. Um, I like, I enjoy clothing. And I like, uh, you know, I like being a stylist, but I'm not sure I've ever really got to grips with the idea of fashion as such. Um, the fact that something is in fashion this season and out of fashion the next, that built-in obsolescence, you know, I, there's something that grates, it doesn't, that jars with me. I don't quite, I don't quite like that. I can understand it and I understand the necessity of that to help the um, the machine keep turning, but I'm not sure as a kind of concept that I I agree with it. Um, I think you know, <laughs> you know, a thing of beauty is a joy forever. I think that if something's good, it should always be good. You know. I was going to ask if you feel that you're creating outfits or you're creating images. I think I'm creating images, mm. but obviously creating images by using outfits, you know, I mean, it's, I'm, I'm creating kind of people and, mm. and worlds. I always kind of liken it to a slightly, I mean, it, it, a lot of, of the way I approach shoots is um, a, in a slightly f- f- filmic way. I, I, you know, I kind of, I think about an idea or a type of person or a scenario and then I create the kind of cast to 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 people that so it's like it's like doing almost like maybe doing um, uh, you know uh, costumes for, for a movie or whatever it's that it's that's kind of how I approach it uh, but but you know but, but the image is all important for me off the back of that yeah do you think there's a Simon Foxton style, is there a particular style well, or I, aesthetic that you represent, that your work represents? I, I think I, there is. Oh so no, sure. and pe- people, have, people have kind of drawn my attention to, to, to this, that there is. Um, it's difficult because, you know, I'm, uh, it, it's me. I mean, I, there's a certain type of model that I tend to use and uh, there are certain repeated <laughs> probably ad nauseum influences that come through in my work. Um, so, but uh, but as to pinpointing what that style is, I mean, it's it's usually pretty. It's usually fairly colourful, and it's usually fairly a little bit gay, shall we say? <laughs> and uh, you know, there's usually something a little bit kind of odd or bad taste in there or something but I, I don't know it's certainly I, I know what it isn't I know it's 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 generally not understated and it's generally not very chic and it's not particularly fashionable so it's it's what those things aren't what do you think it, it is I think it's to me it seems sort of very British mm. and it's interesting hearing you talk about the the ideas behind creating those images, mm. the idea of costuming a character, because that's inherently British 
I think. Just is the idea time? of yeah, maybe. Hmm. sort of, if you look at um, British painters, yeah. kind of people like you know, <coughs> William Blake, it tends to be that we go for allegorical yes. paintings, mm -hmm. you know, William oh, Blake, so, Hogarth, yes. things that tell a story. So, yes, absolutely. And then you can look at someone like Westwood and Galliano, you know, yeah. it's, it's always about telling a story. Yeah, well, I think I come from, from I mean, I can't say, come from, you know, Hogarth, or whatever, but certainly from the sort of Westwood, Galliano kind of using that kind of uh, dressing up box way and, and, and telling, yes, certainly, it's, it's about characters and story, yes, so I think certainly there's that. And also, you know, I am, I make no, um, you know, apologies, I am very British, you know, I'm, that, that, those are my influences. So, yeah, um, I th I'm not sure that my work travels well, to be honest. I think, you, you know, if you're kind of, if you're brought up and know here, you probably get it. I think probably on different continents it's probably looked at with bemusement, I'm not sure. Um. But also, I think it's it's interesting that, in terms of your style, mm. there's as you said, there's a lot of kind of subcultural mm -hmm. references in there. There's also a hell of a lot of sportswear, mm -hmm. um, but real sportswear. Well, you know, we're not yeah. talking kind of a sports jacket or something like yeah, that. Yeah. And it was your stuff was some of the first to use that. Well, look, it's it's often written that I'm I'm actually not sure that that's <laughs> particularly true, but. You know, I, 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 you know, I suppose I was, again, it was about reflecting what we were wearing. And sportswear was kind of some of the most interesting stuff around, you know, when I was at college and things. Um, you know, you, we, it was probably, you know, the more colourful stuff and it was probably stuff we could afford. Also, you know, that's what people were wearing down at clubs and things. So it was, you know, I, I, you know, I think sportswear is a, it's naturally, an, you know, it, an interesting thing when you look at what companies like Nike and Adidas are doing, they're at the forefront of all kinds of technologies and design. So you know why not use it as part of, of dressing up? Yeah. And I still love sportswear a great deal. But as to whether um, I was at the forefront of use, I'm not. Sh I'm not sure. I, I can't really take the credit for that if I'm, if I'm honest. I mean, I think maybe it does chime in with the time that you were working because yes. you had kind of lots of sportswear references coming into fashion and being used in quite an unusual way yeah. at that point in time. So maybe it was natural to kind of latch on to those. Yeah, and absolutely. Yeah, that, and, and I think that was it. It was just, you know, it just seemed a natural thing to do. But, you know, again, it wasn't a conscious thing like, ooh, no one's used sportswear, let's, you know, let's get it out and use it. It was just, you know, it was nice stuff. Let's get it in there. But, you know, in the way that I use, I've always used vintage stuff or I've always used denim or I've always used military or whatever it's just another element so is it are you interested in fashion as such or is it not no. something no I'm not I said I'm not fashion as such no I'm not mm. I use fashion I am you know obviously I, I, I make myself aware of, of what designers are doing um, because I have to work with magazines and whatever, um, and I have to use their clothing. Um, but, but fashion, as such, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not particularly interested. I'm not good at that. I, so, um, you know, as I said before, I let I let those that are interested and better at it than me get on with it. You know, and I kind of, I th you know, I, fashion is just f for me. Uh, bad thing to admit here, but I think fashion for me is just another element that I can choose from to make, to make the image, but it's not, um, for me it's not the be all and end all. Um, do you think that might be a, I'm trying to think of the right way to term this, do, no. do you think it might be a, a man thing because I think you, you style, you predominantly style men. Yes, I, I, I kind of only style men really. I have, yeah. You have done women's and oh, no. I, I'm just really interested that you've focused on the former when so many people get completely entranced mm. by the latter. And do you think maybe it is kind of people are pulled into women's wear because it changes so, you know, that whole deal thing? Yeah, absolutely. Thing I think, I think women's wear is absolutely changes season by season very drastically. And, um, and I can understand the, the, the draw of that. 
completely. Um, yeah, but that that I'm you know as I said before, I'm more interested in the the image and creating the the model, as it were, creating something new with 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 the model. Not so much with. I mean, how should I put it? I mean, I'm obviously interested in what they're wearing. That's what I'm doing. But I'm not interested in whether that is particularly fashionable right now or not. It's more about transforming that person. <laughs>